Ajendran here and uh, welcome everyone to building trading terminal from scratch. We are in the day 18 of the training session here. So we've been building open terminal using Python and prompting techniques. So uh, today it's, it's going to be a kind of a lightweight session. I thought of uh, showcasing what I had done. No, I mean, we've been keep building a lot of things. But I thought like uh, we'll add some some more beautification, some some more bug fixes. That is what I had done using Claude Sonnet 3.5. So I used both the uh, chat method, the Claude chart method, the regular chart method. And I also used the API method using Klein to enhance the UI and to fix the bugs to place the order. So that is what I'm going to showcase you. So first let's kick start with the VS code. So let me go to the VS code here and let me end this presentation. Yeah. So here is our VS code. I'm going to start the application python app.py, right? So here I'll click on the application. So here is the application and let me show you what I had done. I had added a small theme switcher over here. So here is a small theme switcher which I had added. This is a core feature of Daisy UI, right? So if you go to Daisy UI, so here is Daisy UI. Daisy UI is what we are using in the front end. So they have provided a lot of themes, light, dark, cupcake, and the bumblebee. So particularly I, I've been exploring this light and uh, dark theme. In fact, by default, the application uses dark theme and I also provided a theme switcher to switch between light and dark themes, right? And uh, the uh, other than that uh, let me also switch back to the dark theme because my favorite is dark theme and uh, light theme also i made it in such a way that the theme is more minimalistic so that is what the input i had provided so i i asked like i'm using a daisy ui theme i want more of a minimalistic theme which suits my existing style so i have to send my layout.html as one of my primary uh, prompt and then uh, let me go to the dashboard here. So uh, this is the dashboard looks like and uh, yeah, right now the the markets, uh, M6 market is run, right now running over here. And let me also try to send some orders over here. Let me go and buy. Let's say like I want to carry forward uh, two longs over here. I, I can switch between buy and sell. So here also you can switch between the themes, right? So let's say I'll, I'll switch the themes and show you how the uh, model box will look like so this is how the model box looks like and uh, but i prefer to go with uh, uh, dark theme so whereas if it is a white theme i can also say like uh, this is like uh, how the order book trade book position book holdings and the funds everything looks like the same thing uh, the dark theme this is how it looks like so holdings positions trade book order book and funds Right, so and also the dashboard looks pretty cool. So let's say I'll go and uh, buy the order. So here we provided the controls for normal and stop loss order. So if in case if I want to get the uh, market price, I want to get this gold petal 29 November 24 futures. Let me send a buy order. So the whatever the buy order has been placed instantly, I'll be able to see it in the order book as well. And the same thing you can see it in the holdings as well. You can go and check in the position book you should be able to see the positions as well. So these are the controls which I had updated. So right now all the updates are available in GitHub. So GitHub market calls slash open terminal. Still there are a lot of bug fix are yet to done, which we will be, uh, I think more or less I'll be trying to complete. Um, and in our next session, we're gonna do the most important thing the most important thing what we're going to build is like we're going to build about let me show you what we're going to build so here is the about uh, if i go to the home section let me go to the home so here if we go to learn more so re so far we had built real time watch list place orders from watch list i tested it out i tested the limit orders i tested it out with the market orders stop loss orders stop loss limit stop loss market orders so all the issues what are the issues that we had with the uh, place orders has been totally got a fix order book holdings uh, position book trade book uh, funds everything we had built over there and if 
from coming uh, week onwards we will be start building on uh, trailing stop loss and m term square off followed by that voice based trading keyboard based orders and of course as usual what are the prompts that we are discussing a, a entire prompt details will be uploaded to the platform right so uploaded to the course section so see you soon with uh, more interesting uh, features development so we're going to build more interesting features in upcoming days see you in the next session thank you